What's up, y'all? It's your boy Nico here, and welcome to your second favorite podcast episode 18. We're coming close to 20. I've been thinking about going to be uh, 20 years old. I've been wondering what I, what I could do when we get to like 50 or 100. Okay. You got to do like the what's the things called at birthday parties? I don't know what they call, but the ones that just do the little yeah, and yeah. then the hundred episode. <laughs> yeah, I want to stream it one day. You remember those cards that you open and they talk and they go "Happy birthday, yeah, happy birthday." <laughs> you could do that. They still make them. Yeah. For some reason, I though, my birthday. Really? Right on time, Elijah. I know, right on time. <laughs> You want me to call him? No. Hold on. Let me see While something. While we on the podcast? Let's see. Is he going to call? Is it going <laughs> to stop recording? No, it's not going to stop. Oh. It's still recording. Thanks, Elijah. Right during the podcast. Hello. Yeah, but he, he connected yet. What's he want? I don't know. It won't connect. <laughs> Babe. We still recording. <laughs> <laughs> we so. It won't record. I mean. My week has been great, you know. I just heard that I'm about to get a promotion at work. I mean, it's lit. I'm really happy. Oh, it's because I'm not really connected to a Wi-Fi. And I'm going to make an announcement to, I have not told any, well, I actually told my sister today, but it was an accident. Mm, so excited, couldn't to. keep it in. Yeah, that's like, I can't hold it. I can't hold it. But the announcement is he's the only person that knows. But you know, PSA, PSA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, he's outside. Yeah. I'm I'm getting dreads. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. You want you want to keep him entertained, or is it, you want to cut? Go ahead. I'm gonna start talking. Keep him entertained. Okay. You better not say nothing crazy. All right. Yes, sir. She can't contain herself. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll do as I'm told. Disney, remember that. Disney? Keep it Disney. Disney. Okay. All right, so I'm going to talk about what live, since we're talking about Disney, I'm going to talk about what Disney movies I want to see live action. Of course, Princess and the Frog. Of course, Pocahontas. But when they do the Pocahontas, I want them to season it a, a bit with a little bit of uh, what is actually the true story of Pocahontas. I mean, not the rape and the murder and all that. No, no, no. But I don't want them to portray the white man as Mr. Savior because that's not what it is. Like, my whole childhood was confused because I thought Pocahontas was at least a little true. And then um, I definitely wanted Mulan. I said that already. Mulan is, like, my number one favorite. And Princess, I said Princess and the Frog. But um, what else? I don't know. I feel like the Lion King is getting old. So I think they should stop trying to do stuff to the Lion King. Like, let it be. Let it be what it is. Um, I can't think of anything else. Where? Is he coming? No, he just, uh, he just dropped off my hoodie. The Nike one? <laughs> my Jordan one. Oh. His ugly self didn't text me back when I asked, did he want to do something before he left? <laughs> <laughs> Should have, should have said something. <laughs> I would have passed along the message. No. Did you say anything? We won't good? call him after. Yeah, I said great things. That's good. I was staring at the camera too, even though I can't even see it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a close up. It's a bit blurry. If I like the whatever you were saying. You are going like it. Okay. It's gonna be a surprise. The best kind of prize is a surprise. <laughs> so, um, I'm about to say recently. It's not recently. Well, it was. The last episode was pretty good. I like the... I like how you put the actual Black Panther thing. Yeah. I didn't know he was going to do that. You're not going to get in trouble for that, right? No. Okay. It's just a trailer. Okay. And I don't think the music was copyrighted because it didn't flag me, so... Okay. But whatever it is, it would have been like, oh, we're taking the revenue, but I don't make any revenue off these videos, so... Okay. But... Not yet. I didn't get anything off of it. Okay. There was actually a couple of parts at the end that I messed up on as far as the editing goes, but you won't notice. Um, But I liked it. I liked it. It was a cool little depiction. I like my slow mo, even though my hair looked a mess. You think so? You ain't. Healthy. I think it was fine. It looked great. Mm. It, it looked probably looked great because of the filter I had on it. 
Mm. Okay, the filter was my with hair through, is gray. It was his. <laughs> the filter was throughout the whole podcast. It's the one I use for this, mm. so it doesn't look all like we just got lights in front of us. Okay. You said something at the beginning of it. This thing that made me want to go. I mean, it made me. I said PSA. No uh, announcements before that. that. Like promotion before that. Ooh. Like literally at the beginning. I don't remember. Gosh, I really wanted to say something about. Oh, cards. Uh, you said the card will say something when I said about the hundred episode. You was like, oh, oh be yeah. like yada yada or whatever. Um, I thought I thought those kind of green cards would have took over the market, mm-hmm. but it didn't. It didn't really. I still love them, but yeah. Yeah, I would have thought they was gonna be like you. You, you don't get enough of them. Like mm-hmm. you, they still make them, but they're just kind of like eh. They work after a long time. Yeah, which is crazy because I still got. I used to keep a bag of all my birthday cards. Uh huh. And I opened it and it still worked. And it was, I think it was my 16th birthday. Ooh. Yeah, that was a long time. ago. Long time ago. I was about to say, um, I'm a simple girl. I I'm like when you just buy girl. blank cards and write nice stuff in them. Instead of getting those generic ones and thinking of you and yeah. I hope you have a great anniversary. I hope you have a good get well soon. You should always get a car that says at least what you wanted to say, but you should add something to it. Not just love. Yeah, I like how your mom do it. Yeah, she does. She adds a lot I to it. I feel like the card says enough sometimes, so I just write love Jada. But Depending. But then I got into just writing my own cards. Mm-hmm. So Next Kwanzaa, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send out cards to everybody because your dad gave me those greeting cards, um, gave me those holiday Christmas cards. So, and they're <laughs> all blank. So I'm just gonna send them out and write them. It's not gonna mess up when it's because wasn't when does Kwanzaa start? Twenty six, the day after Christmas. You don't think they say Christmas on them? Happy holidays, I think. You think it says Happy holidays? I think. It says happy holidays on the front, but the rest of it is blank. There's like oh, okay. blank cards. Thought it'd be funny. <laughs> Merry Christmas. That was a good quiz happy question. Kwanzaa. Let's see if I got it right. I knew it was something that follows after Christmas. It's a week. Seems like it just kind of late to be sending Christmas yeah, cards. Yeah, December 26th through January 1st. What? Mm. I'm uh, still learning. I'm still learning, but I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh, clumsy little self. Yeah, what up? <laughs> Watch your mouth, young lady. So I'm sorry, Miss Wilson. I love you. <laughs> so the last video was pretty cool. I liked it. Um I want to eventually stream this podcast. I don't know how. I mean, I, I know how to. I, I got most of the technology to do it at this point. But actually, there's a cool little setup where I can plug in this camera, mm-hmm. and it streams off the camera. So I have the camera quality streaming. Whoa. Which would have been a <laughs> which would have been a cool been thing so together. The chair the <laughs> <laughs> or either I could take my phone and post it up over there and stream it. I see a lot of people using Facebook Live lately too. Really? Yeah. They're trying it out, I think. And I've been watching like a lot of old school not old school videos. They're not old school videos. People talking about old school products. Mm-hmm. And it's just you know, sometimes they've been showing the history of stuff like AOL and, you know, just what the web and Internet and how it just kind of at the time you wouldn't have thought there's the way he was describing it at the time. You wouldn't have thought that it would have took over like it did. Mm-hmm. Like it seemed like something that could have just been there and, you know, eventually goes away. But mm-hmm. and that's what I thought about the greeting cards. It was like you you don't know what thing comes in. You're going like, oh, it's going to die like the hoverboards. When I thought it was gonna come in, I thought we were gonna see them for a long time. But then now it's just like I don't really see them at all. You know what I want? Speaking of hoverboards, uh-huh. I want those skateboards that only have two wheels and got your feet. Yeah, I got one in my garage. I want one of those. It's just they difficult. Pr- They're so small. I feel like you need a, a lot of balance with those too. Oh, they called swivel swivel boards. Thing. We got a bunch at work, and they're small, so I need like a small one. I don't need a big one. You try one. I mean, if it's still in my, it's still in the garage upstairs. I feel like I'm a fall because I can't even do a skateboard. Yeah, it's you got to wiggle the whole time. Move. If you make it I feel it like so you need flat land first. The kids do. They learn easy. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize how much I learned when I was younger than I could do now. Can't roll a blade. Got to stick it in them early. 
Yeah, because I was really good at it. Yeah. On the podcast, though. I mean, there's been a lot of episodes I've been doing this. And I keep saying that. <laughs> oh, man. Let's let's give it a... Uh, let's give a PSA for my encounter today. Um, had this... Saw this lady at the store. Oh. Sneezing up a storm. <laughs> and I'm like, God dang, like... One okay, I don't, I don't expect everyone to catch their sneeze when it comes. Sometimes mine's expe- unexpected. I don't really see it coming as fast as me to cover my mouth. Mm-hmm. But at least four or five of them, she was like, <laughs> "Ew!" <laughs> I was like, "All in the air!" <laughs> All in the air. I'm like, "Calm down!" Like, or cover your mouth. I hate even... sharing air with people. And then I had to walk through it. It Ooh. was like right at the entrance. I mean, I guess in a minute. Did it, you cover your nose like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have did that too. I was like, dang. It's hot. And now I see, I saw her, and she worked there, so I saw her around the store, and I'm like, she worked. Uh-oh. Yeah, she worked there. It wasn't like it's a passerby. But I've seen a lot of grown people do that too. I made a video about this. It's called Public Safety. You sure did. And talk about people that just want to cough and sneeze without covering their mouth. And like when we was at that uh, pho place, that little kid was sneezing and stuff. He didn't cover his mouth. And the parents didn't care. <laughs> they were, all right, we're going to get into that. <laughs> but um, about the the sneezing thing, mm-hmm. you know, I ain't got nothing to say about that. But I'm trying to get my arm out of I this jacket. I got you. <laughs> just <laughs> wait until you do it. Thank you. Uh, Nope, it ain't had nothing to do with this week. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but you made just me wanted think to about, bring it up. You know, you made me think about being at work and with a customer because you were the customer and she was at work. Mm-hmm. I ignored my first customer the other day. <laughs> really? Because I was folding shirts and I was in the zone. Like, mm-hmm. I was getting in it. And he was like, excuse me, did she work here? I act like I didn't hear him. And I just kept doing what I was doing. He was like a good distance away from me, so he could have been easily talking to somebody else. So he was like, and he started whispering to the person he was. He was like, do she work here? Da, 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 da. <laughs> He's like, excuse me, excuse me. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know who you talk to. And he eventually went away. <laughs> I never looked up until I ain't hear nothing else. Dog. And then I finally looked up and he was going, I was like, yes. You ain't got a logo on your shirt? Yeah. Okay. It says know. Academy Sports mm. on my shirt. And I got a red lanyard that says Academy Sports. <laughs> People are funny. But you, I mean, you still run into those same people mm-hmm. when we was at the, the Nike outlet. You yeah. Just wearing a black shirt. Or no, you, you were not even wearing anything. A Nike out, no, I was wearing a Nike Adidas, Adidas outfit. outfit. I was wearing a whole Adidas outfit. <laughs> and it was like, hey. I had an Adidas dry fish shirt and Adidas track pants mm-hmm. with Nike sneakers. So I said, <laughs> you could tell when somebody was about to ask you a question just to prep. Yeah. I, that's uh, why I started laughing when that girl started. I was like, oh no, she <laughs> thinks. <laughs> She's like, excuse me. Because th- there was no other reason for her to talk to you unless, you know, she was trying to get your opinion on something, but that's a different. Oh, you meant that Asian woman? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about that black lady. That, was that too. Well, I felt her it coming up. So, many so that people, she went like, like this. It was an Asian woman, a black woman, a black man, a Hispanic man. Am I not supposed to put their race? I don't know. I'm I don't, just saying how many different I don't remember people. all these people. <laughs> I don't well, remember two people. The Hispanic man asked me at the adidas store the asian woman oh asked yeah me yeah at the yeah, nike yeah. store and the black woman asked you at the nike store yeah as soon as i started go like this oh do the phone i was like oh she's gonna ask me a question i was like i don't work here i get the whole i'm holding a shoe box thing but i don't really look like i'm working here you do there was one time was wearing your casual it was a black t-shirt blue jeans i don't i don't fit their look like other times, I would have. You know, I normally yeah. get a zip up shorts or sweats, whatever. I normally have that look, but that day I didn't feel like I had that look. Yeah. Uh, but there's one time it was this guy had shades on, mm-hmm. shades, black jacket, kind of like the one you're wearing. You know, ne- chains, uh, what you call it, ripped jeans mm-hmm. and black boots. Lady asked, <laughs> uh, "You got these in the size?" <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like. Uh, no one should dress does. like this if they do work here. Maybe they're looking for real tall men. It's a lot of tall men that work you, at Nike stores. Yeah, but shades, shades, chains. Trying to make some type of connection. I don't know. I couldn't make it a connection at all. And Sometimes I, I get mixed up. Be like, do you work here? 
I mean, I get it. Sometimes you do. Like at Walmart, sometimes oh, yeah, you, you see somebody can... in a blue shirt with khaki pants. You're like, mm, I don't know. I need to know where to get those pants from. I don't feel like if I don't really ask you unless I see the vest or I see you putting up stuff. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times the ones putting up stuff, they don't really. They're literally just inventory people. They just put stuff up and that's it. Or uh, what's what's the call? Stockers. Uh uh-uh, uh, those vendors. Vendors, right? Yeah, they had nothing to do with the store. I didn't know that they do that. I thought anybody that stock stuff would work there. Nope. Coca Cola comes in, drops their stuff off, and that's it. Put it away. I wish they did that. They put store. it up though. Yeah. They put it up. I, okay. That's interesting, though. I feel like that's something like, does Sam do that? Sam, yes. I know. Um, only. I feel like they just drop it off and y'all put it up. Yeah, they drop off the cases and stuff, and or it comes in the truck. But if it's like them single juices, they come and put them in there, in the coolers. I always wondered if Coca-Cola has like a, I wonder if Coca-Cola has a like an agreement with Sam that they won't make a warehouse like that that would be cool though because it seems like they could just simply okay it seems like they could just simply Sell their stuff do that abundance. yeah how you gonna know when it stops um i have to just pay attention up there oh okay and when it does it again then i'll just plug it up like that again yeah because it, it seems like a such a simple thing for them to do it's just like well we could make our own coca-cola star- store sure but i guess it might be cheaper to just say hey here just Y'all sell our cokes at the bun. I mean, in bulk. Not a bunch. In bulky. Okay. Um, there was something else I was about to say. Mm-hmm. It was about. <laughs> it was about what we was talking about with those people. When you talking about the kid? I, mean, I guess we can't talk about that now. Mm, no, it no. You remember what you that. remember. <laughs> What? It was talking about when we when we were talking about those people at, who thought we worked there. He said something. See, this is why this is your second favorite podcast because we forget. <laughs> <laughs> we get so wound up in the conversation. Get, get so excited. You know, sometimes I just forget. <laughs> you ever think about that? And be laughing to yourself. What the voice? Yeah, I do. I, I'll start cracking up when I'm doing it around people that don't know that. And so I'm just like, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I was like, I did it last night because I had to go and get. You okay? I just dropped my wrist and it hit my nerve. <laughs> Chuck hurt. Dropped it. Yeah, I just dropped my hand because I thought I was just trying to rest. When I did it last night when I had to hurry up and go get some breakfast. I had to go get Because <laughs> every time when you're on the podcast, you like, you see yeah, fading know. away. And I'm like. What's she? Thank you, because I'm not trying to do that anymore. Yeah, got to improve on ourselves. That's topic of the day. Improve on yourself. Improvements, home, yeah. oh, self improvements. <laughs> <laughs> I was going for home improvement, but it wouldn't really been about you. It would have been about your house. Yeah, you know. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I had a, a idea on my nigga rambles. I'm about to start with just. Just saying, not all the time, but come up. You got gummy in your mouth? No. Oh, oh, I don't need to see all that. <laughs> you remember when uh, at school where you couldn't chew gum? Yeah, so I remember I re- those days. I remember, I remember trying to act like I was chewing gum just just to get in trouble. For what? Yeah, my teacher be like, "You got gummy in your mouth? No, it's paper." <laughs> <laughs> Why are you eating paper? Because <laughs> I ain't got no gum. All right, <laughs> don't let me chew no dog on gum. But I used to, cause I used to have a habit chewing on my tongue, but I haven't done it in so long since Ew. middle school. I ain't, I ain't gonna like, nah, nah, nah. I just kind of. That sounds annoying. It was like a nerve thing, mm. but um, I would do that and then get in trouble. But doggone it, where was I going with that before that? You said something about remember when mm-hmm. we didn't weren't allowed to chew gum in. School. No, before that. Oh, because you, you narrowed me. You want to tell that story about the guy at your job? Oh, about the... Mr. Black Power? I mean, it's always interests me how someone would... You Okay, the conversation started off of him just coming in. I knew he was doing the classes that we was holding at that facility. Mm-hmm. 
And as he came in, he was like, okay. Um, he was like, you know, you the man running the, running the building? And I was like, yeah, whatever. And I was like, oh, so you're here for the classes? He was like, yeah, man, I'm just trying to um, move up. And he was a level three, whatever. So he was at the highest. And, and he oh, he wa- was there to attend the class? Yeah, he was there attending okay. the class. And they're, they're here all, all week. Okay, that makes so, sense. That makes more sense. And he was like, okay. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he wanted to do something with the VA. Uh, something. I don't know what it was. But little, we wasn't talking <laughs> for a minute. Like, all that had happened within a minute. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, we go into um, uh, how, how, how the history books is a lie <laughs> and how... They want us to learn what they want us to learn. You know, they don't tell our history. Uh, basically saying they ain't telling black people's history. We, in a minute, and it was it was just overwhelming. Just a strange transition. It was weird because I thought all we were talking about was, I really want to know about this class because I never, they come here every year, but I just don't really think about it. But that was it. I, I didn't think this conversation would go that long. And then the really thing that just annoyed me was the, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just trying, trying to do it, you know what I'm saying? So I was, uh, you know, you you know, you know got to do like that, man. You know what I'm saying? You know you know what I'm saying? And it was like a couple of times you wanted me to confirm yeah. that. I, I was like, oh, shoot, he wants me to pay attention. And then he started telling me books I should read. And he was like, man, once you read these books, your whole mind's going to be in the whole 360. I mean, I wish I would have learned it when I was your age. Because if I was learning with your age, I'd probably be doing it. And I'm like, uh-huh. He start talking about all these the symbols and what they really mean and what they try to hide from you and why these. I'm like, all I asked, <laughs> <laughs> you here for the class? I didn't say anything else after that. That's that, just overwhelming when people share that much information and want you to comprehend in that matter of a time. And we was only talking for ten or fifteen minutes, and you gotta. That was just a lot. Moving. Right. It doesn't. I'm going to fall out of it. <laughs> Moral of the story is. Have you ever had those people comment below? <laughs> just be prepared to write notes. Yeah. I mean, it was interesting, but it's hard for me to get into conspiracies. I love it. Like, I don't know why. I love hearing other people's. The idea of it is more fascinating yeah. than what it really is. Oh, okay. Yeah. To me. Yeah. So it's like you tell me why bookshelves look like the way they do. It's because of that, this, and that. It's cool that you believe that. Less that it is that. I, it's hard to not. Well, no, I think it test it tests your your. Uh, na- is it naiveness? Your faith? Oh no, <laughs> how naive you are. Sometimes, sometimes I, I'll read it and be like, "Hmm, is that true?" No, it's like <laughs> sometimes I'm like, well, based off the information you gave me, yeah, of course that makes sense. Yeah. So it's like, or it's like you're trying to make things connect. Uh huh. So it's, it's like, what you was know, that? If a, a, if a, whatever those animals, I mean, whatever those plants are that eat insects, you know, if that does that, then that creates the circle of life. Wait, it's a formula. <laughs> it, it's okay. It's a formula. What That's formula? Ex- <laughs> it's exactly what it is. It's a formula. If you you give me the start of it, yeah. of course it's going to equal that. Mm-hmm. That's your formula. And I mean, I'm not going to say that all conspiracies are not real, but it's just hard. It's overwhelming to be into every single one of them and to actually live by them. Yeah. Because it makes you hard. To, it makes it hard for you to enjoy things like that. Yeah. Like, I saw this post and they said that if you think, no, like the white man got you fooled making you think that jay-z making you think that jay-z believes in the illuminati i mean well is the illuminati i mm-hmm. was like but that's what he reps so it's not he's doing that <laughs> not me. but it's like what if see we could do the what if game all day I yeah you heard my teacher say that but <laughs> but it's like what if the whole thing was a troll like he's just doing it because he heard about it maybe yeah and then a lot of those stuff just break down yeah but a lot of times if they're hiding something, it's always going to be covered up by something else. Yeah. I used to hate hearing the uh, the Tupac stuff where 
people will listen to songs backwards. Alive. Oh yeah. And it, they'll yeah. be saying something, and it happens to connect to something <laughs> else. I'm like, this is getting weird it was named kevin with a mac 11 <laughs> yeah <laughs> the, the ranch of me did <laughs> right there pox said it it's like you said it, right 10 years later <laughs> da 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 did this and i'm like dang like they still doing stories it's so annoying i saw a kickback up uh early i mean like a couple weeks ago about him still being alive yeah, and then I'm seeing all these untold stories and mm-hmm. uncovered stories. Like, uh, would y'all just find who did it? Damn. <laughs> yeah, because it was like, uh, I saw the, the most recent one I saw was him being in a uh, car. Mm-hmm. When you, in the last picture you saw him alive, mm-hmm. there was no keys in the ignition. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there was him driving. So okay. it was like, was it all a setup? Was it all just to make it seem like he was dead? But to did be they honest, just? Yeah, maybe. I don't but know. But they say he got shot on was it Park Avenue or something? No, <laughs> on the strip. So right. that means he was on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> but he was driving. See, it's too many stories. Because they know. say they drive. They say he was driving and somebody drove up and shot. It was like a drive by. Oh. And but yet, you know, in the video, I mean, in the last picture, it was like he'll be stopping in a in the car while it was going. But there's no keys in the ignition. I ain't never so seen how t- was it. Yeah. I ain't never seen that Tupac movie. So I ain't see it either. But still, as a huge but fan, but I hate hearing it because you know me, I like to ex- I like to poke at it, yeah, just to see how where it could go, yeah. But it's not. I'm not gonna take it home with me. I'm, well, I'm gonna take it like home. Like you know, yeah. There was no keys even I'm in the ignition. T- <laughs> I'm not gonna tell somebody else next. Yeah. Like, hey, so like, were I- you there? You don't know. <laughs> I just don't. You don't like, know if there was no keys in there. Shut I up. Just don't know. Like it would. And I, I was fine at 20, 2012 when they said he was going to come back. Yeah. I, I was. I thought he was. For too. a second, I was like, I don't want to <laughs> believe it, but it'd be fun. <laughs> it'd be so fun. I thought it would, too. And I would be like, oh, they cops going to get him, and he might run away. And I'd be like, wouldn't that be a cool reveal? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know, Tupac Shakur. You know, and he just pops out. It's like. Old as ever. Well, he might not be that old. No, he's going to be like 40 He might be skinny. I can see that. That'd be creepy. Living off the Dr. C by diet. Honestly, if he came back, I, I believe no one's dead. <laughs> I don't believe anyone's gone. But uh, but yeah. I want to. I do want to see the Death Row Chronicles. I do want to watch that. You love this word Chronicles. That's what it says. I know, but it's gonna be into <laughs> a lot of Chronicles stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm into the Chronicles. It's gonna be a documentary Chronicles of Jada. That'd be nice. Wouldn't it be? Yeah. You still, I, I, I still didn't define what Chronicles was. When I get my bachelor's degree, I'll write a. All doctors end up writing a book about themselves, so maybe I'll do that. Or they always write whoever, whichever. Like some doctors go the 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 road to medicine, and some go the road to what? There it goes. Oh, it stopped recording. Yeah. <laughs> And some of them go the road to uh, um, was it? It's kind of like mental. It's not medicine though. It's just mental. What's what the fuck is the word? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh huh. Herbal. Herbal. It's not herbal. Whatever is is like um. It's not medicine. What's the word? What's the opposite of medicine? Mo- oh. Poison. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you're natural, naturalistic, what is it natural remedies? Oh, for for on the psych on the psychology side, mm-hmm. that's the road I'm gonna go. So I would be like, instead of giving you all these darn pills, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is a natural resource you could use to cure your depression or anxiety or um, claustrophobia, etc. <laughs> I feel like you pointed at me because you knew something about. No. Yeah, I get you though. Maybe is it in your third? No. <laughs> I'm uh, that when I'm thinking. Chronicles mean a factual written account of importance of historical events in the order of their occurrence. Hmm. Thanks for the definition. As we keep saying it, but Webster. I'm like, what does it mean? Let me see, say, read it again. A factual. Written account of important or historical events in the order of their occurrence. Mm. 
So just written in order. Okay. <laughs> cool. So you know how you made friends off of Instagram, right? Kind of, yeah. I did that two days ago. Mm. And she's from Detroit. Um, Her name is Tierra. Yeah, her name's Tierra. But she's like 35. Mm-hmm. And she has this organization where she uh feeds the homeless and stuff like that. Right. And um what else she does? She goes to high schools, inner city schools in yeah. Detroit and teaches young ki- kids to kings, I think that's what it is. Something like that. Mhm. And I called her Auntie T. <laughs> Did you mean to? Yeah. Sound like an It accident. was in a text message. Oh. She's my health auntie T. Interesting. Yeah. It was cool. It's like this random lady I just found off Instagram and started. Well, I I mean, I followed her for a long time. And right. then I started asking her questions. Just like I asked my vintage vegan questions about what's good and what's not. So and then she was just like, just text me. <laughs> and I started texting. But she says, when I talk to her, she says, peace queen. I was like, is she saying bye? Or but that's just how she talks. It's like that's cool. She mm. says peace or peace queen instead of hi, how are you? She just says peace. So I think if you were to text her, she would say peace king. Which is cool. Sounds like a restaurant. It does. It does. That was a good one. I don't know what they serve though. You know when you <laughs> said that you would nickname your would you nickname your daughter princess? You said you don't know if you would. Yeah. I think you it has said to come out naturally. I, yeah. I don't feel like I can force that. Yeah. I was thinking I should nickname her Queen. That's kind of cool. A lot of times I hear girls, little girl named Queen, or her name is Queenie. Yeah, that's like no. I want her real name to be something else, but her nickname for me would just be Queen. Like you know how people grow up with their. I want mine to grow up with nicknames. Mm. My mom is usually the queen of nicknames, so we'll see. I don't know. I ain't got no real. I don't have any na- universal names. Okay. <laughs> all right. I talked about all I could think of. Right. Go. Go. So. No, I had a man who did the same thing that you that the guy did to you. Uh-huh. Why you put it down? I like because I'm tired of holding it. Oh. Go ahead. You was tired of what? <laughs> okay, there there was a man who used to come to Sam's Club to get his car rotated or whatever every other couple of days. Get his car rotated. Tires. <laughs> yeah, I'm just imagining him to say, "Yeah, I just want to rotate the car." <laughs> you mean the tires, sir? No, no. Holding the whole entire car, car around, around. <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, he used to come in. <laughs> oh my whole oh, car turned rotated, man. I need to, you know, change the gears too, because I ain't trying to go reverse and drive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Put it in neutral. <laughs> what? This guy is crazy. Go ahead, because I'm gonna keep laughing about it. Okay. But no. <laughs> well, the, the basic story was that he would just come in and start dropping knowledge. It was mostly about religion, though. Yeah. It was mostly about religion. She used to say, if white people didn't give you basic rights, what makes you think they're going to give you a proper religion and stuff like that? And he told me. He, that w- we used to be writing stuff down. I remember I used to write it on a receipt, and I used to ask him what his religion was. And he told me, but I can't remember. And it's the same thing. It was the same. I know it was similar, but it was the same thing that a pastor that the church we used to go to, I talked to him after that, and he said that he had that same religion. So I was like, oh, that's cool. When those people show up, the first thing that comes to my mind when they start like doing a lot of talking about stuff, I'm like, I want to ask him or her, what's good pizza? I'm just like, if pizza? you could think so deep about religious and oh. how people treat you, yeah. can you think that deep about pizza? Or for just like, food? In yeah, general? can you just do that about food? Every kind of. I'm just well, now I want to pick your brain. <laughs> I want to pick your brain and see can you can you just talk about chocolate like 
Have you ever tasted the best chocolate in the world? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw them off. Because they're going to be like. They're going to be so confused. What, what are you trying to say? Because yeah. some people. i only, I only done this to one person. Yeah. That's gotten debt with me about something. About living life and how da 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 this and that. Mm-hmm. And the first thing that came to my mind was, have you talked to someone else that think totally different to you, but deep as you? Mm-hmm. And he was like, no, I had a couple people that would uh, ask me questions that, you know, they didn't really agree with, but no. Because there's somebody that came into the same, when I, when I worked at a shoe store, mm-hmm. there were people asking this, that went to the same details, but the opposite of him. Mm-hmm. I'm like, y'all need to talk to each other. Yeah. That's that's, who, that's your thinking. audience. The guy that you was talking to, the guy I was talking to, they need to. Yeah, just get together and start hashing it out. There you go. Talk talk amongst each other. It's kind of like some people say people th- only people think they're wise. It's around dumb people. <laughs> some people think. That makes sense. Yeah. I think that's how most men come out of jail because they're around a bunch of dumb people. Sometimes. I mean, some, not like, I mean, sometimes when I like watch like Locked Up, you know, there's some people that really. Yeah, it's some. Yes. Very. No, I'm not saying everybody's just everybody went jail. Right, no, no. But most most people would think that though, like would be like, oh, I'm smart because I surround myself around dumb people. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like that make or that would make sense. Because no that's how I would feel. I'd be like, y'all don't even know what's in that meat y'all eating. Right. And then I'll start talking because they don't know any better, or like, they don't know what I know. I just never care for people that involuntarily give me that information. I don't like when women do it for some reason. Mm. I can't speak on that. Cause they they <laughs> sound so different when they say it. Men sound like they really want you to know. Some women just sound like they just trying to. Well, the women I've come and encounter with, they just sound like they want to, just want to tell you because it makes them look smarter. Mm. Like I can't have two. Like I say, I can't have two bossy women in one room. It's not gonna work. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe just the estrogen is bouncing off, and it's different when it's testosterone. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. Well, I just know that I really want to ask somebody that thinks that deep about stuff. Yeah. Do you do you like, like you like pizza? Yeah. What's your what's your favorite pizza? So favorite. I mean, like, have like, you? Why? You, you travel the world. I mean, you know all this history. Yeah. But let's let's do that in Is pizza. it the sensation of the dough and the crust and the <laughs> right. cheese? Do you care more about the cheese or the sauce? Mixed together? Or do you care about both? What is the ratio? Do you know? <sighs> What's the temperature? Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, like, is, it, is 360 too much? Is yeah, it, it do is. You, need, you want a 420 toasted? You know? What's... I guess as a... Uh, as my major in psychology, right. it is very interesting to hear how creative people can be when it comes to stuff that expands that far or stuff that goes that far into history it is so funny i mean it's so funny and interesting yeah like like we said before sometimes then when somebody has like a narrative or a point to make things obviously make sense you're dumb and so deep. things yeah. obviously make sense <laughs> when you pointed out like that like I, you know you could be talking about the, the dangerous of i don't know keyboards you know you don't want keyboards that click because clicking reminds people of the of the war and war triggers yeah. and it's like war triggers how us black people wasn't even supposed to be in that war and i was like i keep doing too much i'm like, at work uh, <laughs> this information you bring me right now is bringing me down yeah it's not really uplifting because I mm-hmm. wasn't looking for it. A lot of times people get uplifted. Well, they needed some, some people needed some guidance mm-hmm. and they find it and that's how they get it. Mm-hmm. I'm at work. The happiest thing is when I clock out. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, that's all I'm really worried about right now. You know, now. you get your most inspired at work. Yeah. Yeah. On the way. On the way. <laughs> and that annoys me. But. I'm I'm a very happy guy, it's so it's not a cute. lot of things that really I don't really care. I'd be wondering if that's gonna it. be an issue one day. What me being happy all the time? Not happy, but just not taking everything seriously. I say you do take things seriously, so mm-hmm. I wouldn't say everything, but that right. there's things that I don't 
Some people feel like you need to be sad or you need to be mad with me. And I don't believe that we both need to be mad or sad. Yeah. Because it doesn't help us at all. And I don't know how to help you either. I think it's actually great when I'm pissed off and you're just like, hmm. well, yeah, you shouldn't. <laughs> like, because if you get mad with me, that's just routing me up. Exactly. But when you just like, I start to calm down. <laughs> right. And I, 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 because I, when I'm mad, I don't want you to be angry with me because it, it doesn't help me resolve anything. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, Pooh, go, go, go beat him up. It's too much. No. 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 I don't know. We would we switching from subject to subject. We want to. We minutes. sure are. And I think we had. We got time. Forty something. All right, so we got time to tell this story about what happened at our favorite restaurant. Have you ever been to your favorite restaurant? And then. Mm. There's an interruption. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good fall. <laughs> and then there's an interruption. I don't care what type of interruption. Anything that bothered you. Think of anything that bothered you, and it happens to your favorite restaurant, and you already got your food. And you got to finish it. <laughs> you can't just get up and leave because of the interruption. You got to finish that food you just paid for and ordered. You didn't pay for it till after, but you just ordered it. And now it's here. But think about that and comment below. What happened with us was, um, I don't mind having children at a restaurant. Because, like, people actually do. I actually mind it a little. But... If I'm telling the truth, I mind it a little. But when they're annoying, it's, <laughs> it's when it gets bad. Because right. I, I can't stand when a baby cries. Mm. It's so it's like nobody's hurting you. Why are you crying like that? <laughs> that was what was happening at work. This baby was screaming. Uh-huh. And I think she was like, one. And it's like, nobody's hurting you. Why are you screaming like that? Yeah. She was screaming like her lungs were about to come out of her mouth. It was crazy. But this boy at the restaurant was sitting across from me, next to me. He was sitting next to me. You got the easy seat. Now, the seats go, like, really long. So if he kicks that seat, I feel it, and so does the man next to me. It's almost like a booth, but wooden. Yeah. Just one side of it. It's just wooden, and it's just a long wooden seat. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, as a kid, I would think that I wouldn't want to keep kicking that. So I was trying to ignore that. But then, it was, I think what was more annoying was the way his mother was talking to him. <laughs> like he's still a baby. That was, yes, that was annoying me. What was annoying you? Was you uh, the first, okay, what happens is when I think of when kids do something, I'm like, okay, you know when you let the kid go to the fishing tank. You know he want to keep doing it. Yeah. And she offered it first. He wasn't even thinking about the fish tank. And I'm thinking like, okay, once you know that he could do it by itself, he's going to keep going there and coming back. Going there and coming back. Yep. And he's not about to knock over my plate. It's like, you know, I know you know that kid for a minute. (laughs) And I'm pretty sure you know he's going to keep doing that. Mm -hmm. And I know you don't want to be a nuisance. Cause and effect kind of thing, you know? Like, I don't, if I knew my kid is going to, you know, if I give him something, he's going to start going crazy. I'm just not going to give it to him. <coughs> right. Kind of thing. I mean, sometimes I slip up, but very aware of it. You learn afterwards. See, that, and that's why I said I'm not really into the baby talk thing. Because when I'm mad at you, I'm going to talk to you. I'm just be like, just stop. <laughs> and be like, just stop. Right? Yeah. Just sit down. Chill out. I ain't trying to hear that. No. Don't stop. Yeah. Come don't, on, man. Don't do that. Come on. Stop. Nicholas, don't do that. Well, once again, I know it's because we're coming. That's how I had to talk to the kids at daycare. Right. And I I hated it. Like, right. I and I think wanna... that was the main point. That the reason why that we wanted, the reason why uh it was kind of weird because they was talking to that kid like how we would talk to the kid that yeah. we don't know. Yeah, you said that. So it's like. It's like they were scared to hurt his feelings yeah, or something. Like, like he was going to tell on them. Just. Like if you don't. It's your smack kid. that little boy. Well, I don't know about smacking him, but some people don't know what the definition of smack is. Like, what did I say? <laughs> Just sit I said down. sit down. Eat this food. <laughs> Wait. We're going to do all that when we're done. Yeah, and they had to interrupt. So some kids don't understand They had to though. interrupt their eating to take him to the fish. Like, no. Eat your food. I didn't even you know what they there. ordered either. 
I didn't even look over. I think I, I didn't look over that one time. They had some appetizer that was the fried, those fried rolls. Oh, uh, yeah. But mm, that was crazy. That's all I kept thinking about was how she was talking to him. And then at work this one time, this is going to be really quick. I was Take I was time. going I was walking by and this little boy was just standing right in the middle of the aisle. His mom was pulling him mm-hmm. like she wasn't even gripping him. She was just like, "Come on, come here, come here, come here." Mm-hmm. And he was like, "Let go of me. Let go of me. Stop touching me." <laughs> 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 I was just like, "I just smacked him behind his head and said, "What did I say?" <laughs> I'm Get over you, here. <laughs> Looking at him is going to be the best thing to do. Because it's not, you don't want to really hit him at him, but you just kind of, that's more annoying. <laughs> and you don't want to. Yeah. I, I, I think I'm going to do the popping behind the neck. Because it's not going to give them brain damage. So <laughs> Brain damage. <laughs> it's funny to think about that. But yeah, that's. You um, popped in your neck. Yeah, that was when I was at Walmart earlier. Um, we can go to Walmart today and then she get those Nerf guns. Want to get one? Or get two? I want no money. You got me saying that on the podcast. Well, we can cut it out. <laughs> that's what you no, want. I mean, I got money. My car broke. So I got priorities. And I had an electric bill to pay for. And I got to get gas. And I got to eat for the rest of the week, you know. You got to cut it. People know the struggle. I ain't, I ain't boasting out here like, I got all this money. I ain't got all this money. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> uh, Lady Walmart was doing that. The kid was like running. It was kind of funny. More than annoying, <laughs> she was trying to. They was trying to shot for a bike, mm-hmm. and he was. She was like <laughs> running. She's like, "Get back here, get back here now!" And she's like, "You gotta catch me!" <laughs> she was just running. She was chasing him. No, that mom. Mom was not gonna catch her. Mm. Mom was not gonna catch her at all. She was not gonna chase after her either. But she was gone. <laughs> she was just, just running. I was trying not to laugh in front of her face. I had to wait till I got behind her and started cracking up. And then she wanted to I cooperate and still wanted that bike, whatever the bike. She was like, no, I want it. He's like, no, no, you're going to run away. I was like, I just saying, First of all, if I tell you, come here. I'm like, come here. Stop running. Get back here right now. We're not going to get this bike. Yeah. I may say it one more time. Maybe you didn't understand. Maybe you didn't comprehend on that. Maybe you got that from me because sometimes I can't comprehend them crap. Nope. Look in your face. So you don't stop running. You don't stop running around. We're not going to get this bike. Okay. I don't care. At that point, you run again, <laughs> we're done. I'm going to just buy a bike and ride it. <laughs> you, <laughs> listen, you don't need a bike. You need food. You need water. And you need to go to school. And you need clothes. <laughs> That's it. That's probably the only thing that you probably get a lot more strikes for when I'm trying to put some shoes on you. It's even though, even though, still. But I feel like my kid will be more cooperative. I feel like it. It might not happen, but whatever, I'm still going to incorporate these methods yeah. into this. As soon as I get on eye level with you and look you in the face, that should be it. Yeah. I want that to be in my children. Yeah, you can go me. eye level <laughs> until you get the bike. What? crazy but yeah it was a a good day but it was a good day it was funny (laughs) people are just funny you ever seen the you've seen the leech the leashes right on the kids Uh, yeah i see them but i wouldn't get them hell no (laughs) no of course not i don't need no no you're gonna do it as i say it seems weird People saying, well, older people saying this in this new millennium, it's hard to discipline children because they call the cops on you. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's difficult because it's more. What I do in the privacy of my own home is my business. Well, some, most times people that say that have probably done worse things yeah. than just whipping them. Yeah, what happens in this house stays in this house. Right, it's probably worse than that. Don't tell nobody but God. <laughs> What? I love the color purple. Oh, the battery went out. Oh. See, I swear. How long has that been? The battery? No, how long is it? It's been, well, <coughs> it just stopped. Okay. So. All right, well, take us home. We done. Okay. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like before we go, actually. Now, think about it. I wanted to post some of these. I'm going to start posting these up on SoundCloud eventually. Mm-hmm. Just to have another platform to post them up on. Mm-hmm. But I realize a lot of our episodes is kind of... <laughs> not easy to listen to without watching it yeah (laughs) so sorry that's just interesting to think about it but if you like this video be sure to leave a like 
comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you on episode 19 Mm -hmm. with other things and other us talking and, (laughs) you know, keeping it, keeping it. Sorry about the no video. Yeah, it cut out, but I'm pretty sure you appreciate it. If you're watching at this point, leave a like. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do it. And we'll see you next.